Ahead lies ahead of you. A lifetime of happiness lies ahead of you. Welcome in to uh, the West One Radio. North Korea. Hydrogen nuclear testing. Yesterday we seen some of uh, the Barkin Army about this one Chinese gentleman who saved 200 dogs. I just checked out my fortune cookie. Uh, we believe. We believe it. Like, you know, I mean, you're out at a Chinese restaurant. It's like you get this and you know you're with family and friends or on a date or something and you're like yeah it's all beliefs you know it's like I can believe in this door here like you know I can believe that this door is something other than a door you know I mean what could it be I mean, before the invention of doors, I mean, how did people get out? Anyway, uh, it is the Wednesday, it is the wonderful Wednesday, and um, we uh, we did have a, a weird kind of post yesterday with um, with that thing. Uh, I guess it got interrupted, the view, but I don't know. I just just can't figure it out. I can't I can't figure out why that um I mean the definition of a what are you on? the definition of a progressive Democrat is to work with others, you know? And I don't see it happening. I don't see um working with others is happening. I hear and see a lot of like little things that are supposed to show a genuine heart, you know. I mean, these little things that we do, these little task jobs, you know. Maybe to get rid of some kind of guilt, you know, some kind of guilt. But it never fixes the problem, like, you know. It's just repetitive. You would take any issue, any issue, put it up on the board, on the door. Put the problem that that, you know, all the problems that we've been having all these years, put it up there and draw some, some lines, you know, of um, what could be contributing factors, you know, on the one side, you, know, you have the one problem, let's just take guns, for instance, guns, you know, write down all the, the things that are associated with that, all the problems that arise from it, and then on the other side, come up with the solutions, you know come up with the solutions instead of just going after one particular group which I don't really have a gun I don't care about guns you know I, I don't believe in guns but uh, there are people who use it to defend themselves you know and in this day and age in this world uh, I can see how um, that is a reality in some of these states, you know. I guess, you know. But they do it because they want to protect their lives and their family. You know, because the other people have weapons. The other people have guns. You know, 
How did they get weapons? How did they get guns? Yes, we have a lot of guns. Okay, let's reduce the ammo. Let's not give a lot of people a lot of ammo. You know, was that would that have stopped anything? Yeah, we get back all the review and everything. It's like the, the Donald. He doesn't like this. He doesn't like that. He definitely doesn't like women. He doesn't like Mexicans. He doesn't like Muslims. He doesn't like women. I say that. He, he just he doesn't like none of these things. But the last past eight years, what have we done? What have we done for for Mexicans, Muslims, for women, for minorities? Everyone's a minority nowadays. It doesn't matter, you know, that it's clear. And again, um, I'm not in that race. I don't really compete with anybody there. It's just when I see, you know, them tackle an issue, tackle a problem, I don't see anything, any how, any who, any way of it, it just getting to the point where it'd be at least functional, you know. I mean, go to all the, these inner cities, go into all the places in the homes where they have all these weapons, you know, and they just use them for uh, for crimes and everything, you know, not for protection, but for crimes. And then how are we going to differentiate that? <laughs> how are we going to differentiate that? You know, how are we going to know? We're going to go knock down... Oh, man, you are connecting today. Knock down all the doors, and we're going to confiscate your weapons. I don't know, that's what the spirit told me today. <laughs>